Next, Studio Ushia's Michiko Sakamoto will present QA Engine. Michiko Sakamoto, welcome to the stage. Hi, I am Michiko and I am the COO of Studio Ushia. Studio Ushia is a natural language processing engineering company. We have an international recognition in the NLP and deep learning community. For example, we have won the first prizes in a number of competitions held at leading international academic conferences in NLP. Today, I'd like to introduce one of our products called QA Engine. In the recent years, due to the dramatic increase of services as well as technologies, corporate help desk operations are becoming busier than ever. What makes it even worse is that it is becoming increasingly difficult to hire good help desk operators with reasonable costs. Studio Wuxia's QA engine is here to help you. QA engine understands questions in natural language and quickly returns answers. We use deep learning technology to make this happen. Let me explain to you by the example of the chatbot on Free. Free is a fast growing cloud accounting service in Japan. Free provides a chat service by human operators and they decided to introduce a chatbot using Studio Usha's QA engine. At the bottom right of the screen, you see a chat widget. You type in your question in the small window at the top. What is really nice about this is that you can describe your problem or situation when asking a question. You don't have to know the right keywords to type in. It is useful when you are unfamiliar with the service or the task you are working on or don't know the technical terms. For example, you are a small business owner and using your home as an office. You wonder whether you can include electricity bills as part of business expenses when you pay them under your personal account. So you tell them, tell, tell your situation. Then QN engine figures out what kind of question it is and tells you that you can apply the concept of allocation of domestic expenses. You did not use the keyword allocation of domestic expenses in asking, but the bot figured it out just by reading your text describing the situation. This kind of thing is possible because there is a deep learning technology behind. Let's see the difference from the case where you use a conventional chatbot tool or a search engine. Conventional chatbots are rule-based systems that only understand predefined intentions and can return answers that are linked with those intentions. In the case of a search engine, users cannot find the answer unless they input the right keywords. Studio Wish's QA engine overcomes those problems with deep learning which is one form of machine learning. It has the capacity to understand questions in many different expressions. It also understands questions that don't include keywords. So what kind of process is required when deploying a question answering system using machine learning? Usually, you teach the machine how to answer by giving it many potential questions and telling the right answers. It is called supervised learning. Typically, you first input candidate answers. Then you input potential questions with the right answers labeled to them. They are called training examples. Finally, you launch the machine learning and the system will become able to return answers. Making the training data in the second part could be problematic. This 
is how you prepare training data, and it is actually from the documentation for one of our competitors' question answering API. The text area is for answer labels. You usually use questions from the past customer interaction data. Then for each question, you find the right answer and label it. And it becomes a training example. Generally speaking, you need at least 10 training examples for one answer candidate for a deep learning question answering system. That means if you have 1,000 answer candidates, you need at least 10,000 training examples. Imagine you have to make 10,000 or more rows of this using spreadsheet. It could be a lot of work. So we have developed a tool to make this process faster. You first upload the question data from the past customer interactions, then click the button Start Annotation. Then you see a question one by one with answer candidates ranked by priority. You click on the right answer and you press next, and the next question will appear. We estimate that you can make 20 training examples per minute. That means that you can make 1,200 training examples in an hour. And you can make 10,000 training examples in one day. To make your life even easier, we have developed a model that enables QA engine work with less amount of less amount of training data. The efficacy of the model has been proven at Wisdom Cup held in February this year. In sum, QA Engine can answer to questions in various expressions or without keywords. QA Engine has a tool that enables you to make training data efficiently. QA Engine works with smaller amount of training data. We look forward to working with you, with you in the near future. Thank you.